Hey guys, so I'm about to go out, but I wanted to start this video by saying that this video is going to be about the contracept contraceptive implant. So if you wanted to watch my experience with going to get it, then carry on watching and you'll find out. So I'm about to head into town now. I'm really, really scared to go, like so scared to get this done, but I think it's the best option at the moment for me. Um, so yeah, so currently I'm on the pill. I haven't taken it in about a week, a month actually, um, because I had this appointment. So I'm going to get it. But the issue is I almost fainted when I got my ears pierced because I got three piercings in one and I'm really scared that this is going to hurt more. So I'll try and catch you up when I'm about to go in and see what happens. And then I'll talk about the experience when I'm out of my appointment. So Let's go. But I'm a 10 out of 10, even when I forget. So, um, I kind of forgot to film when I was going in because I was really, really nervous. Um, and I felt like I was going to pass out because I had to go alone. Um, I couldn't have gone with anyone. So I was really, really scared. So I kind of forgot to film. Um, and I kind of got lost. So, you know. So, um, as you can tell, I'm back. Um, I got it done. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So I got it done in a sexual health clinic. That's where they sent me in Brighton to get it done. Um, and I went in and she just talked to me, asked me loads, a couple questions, um, as they have to. And then she made me lay down on the bed with my arm like this, like that. Um, and she sprays it with this numbing spray. That was the worst part because it made my whole arm tingle because obviously it's numbing everything. Um, and then she was like, you may feel a bit of a pull and she started like squeezing, it was like pumping into my arm. And I felt it kind of go in, but it didn't hurt at all. Like puncturing the skin was like nothing. Like it was easier than getting my ears pierced because then I got these three ear piercings done. Um, I almost fainted at the first one. So, you know, um, not the best, but yeah, now that I've got it done, um, because of where I am in my cycle, it's, it's ineffective for the next seven days. And then after that, it, it will work because of where I am in my cycle. I'm not in the first five days or something like that. Um, but I'm really pleased with how it went. Like I was really surprised that it didn't hurt. Um, the only thing is I cannot shower for the next couple of days. I can take this bandage off um, now or in the morning. Um, there's a dressing on there that I can take off in two days and I can finally shower. I think that's just so it heals well and then I can shower and everything. Um, but yeah, I can't lift anything heavy. It hurts when I do that anyway. Sometimes when I occasionally tense my arm, it will hurt. Um, but I feel like that's just normal. Um, I mean, you've just had something shoved in your arm, like it's gonna um, feel weird. Um, but yeah, the whole experience went really well. I was shocked at how well it went. Um, I would definitely recommend if you are looking at different forms of contraceptive or any, because I've been on the pill for about two to three years now. Um, and I never wanted to be on it long term because I've heard of side effects um, that you, from being on the pill for so many years like it could cause infertility in the long run and that's not what I want at all so I started looking up extra like um contraceptive methods that would be effective and work really well and I instantly came across the um implant and wanted to get it because it lasts for three years and I don't have to remember to take something at the same time every day because that was never easy for me i did remember but sometimes it wasn't the case that i could take it because i was at work and i was doing other things so it just wasn't easy i haven't been taking the pill for about a month now um just because it just wasn't for me and i had a massive issue with one of my pills my experience with putting the implant in was really it went really well it was very like a lot easier than i thought so yeah so thanks for watching this video um if you have any questions about it i can try and answer them but i am no doctor 
if you're if you want to like have a like ask your doctor then call up your doctors or a sexual health clinic because my doctors don't do it but yeah so so i don't know if this angle is gonna work but um so i decided not to end the video last night when i was planning to um just because i thought i'd show you me taking off my bandage so um i didn't know if i was supposed to sleep with it on or what so i did decide to sleep in it last night um and now i'm gonna take it off so you can see i do know it is bruised a little bit because i can see it under here um but that's normal they told me that was perfectly normal and i would have some bruising so i'm gonna take it off and then i'll show you so i'm trying to book um lemon's concert ticket and then i have a one-to-one -one, so oh lovely i've got some lovely bruising let me move um just so you can see it better i've taken the bandage off now and there is a dressing on there that i need to keep on and it does look like there's been a lot of bruising so this is it um either that's blood or i think it's i don't know i want to have to leave this on for another 24 hours before i can even take it off and then i think you're supposed to leave it on for more than 48 hours i'm not really sure um so i will just see how it goes um and slowly have it come off um so yeah as you can tell there's quite a bit of bruising going on down there um which i was told was perfectly normal um yeah so now this is the end hi guys so it's me again i know i look terrible but we're gonna ignore that so i took the bandage not the bandage the dressing off of my implant today um and it was already scary taking it off and i'm so scared this is what it looks like now if you can see that there's a little hole here and feel it in me and that kind of weirds me out a little bit but i'll get used to that at some point so i'm gonna let it there you go you can see it a bit more um i'm gonna let it heal for about a week or two and then i'll finish this video just so you can kind of see how it heals if you wanted to get it just because uh, this video won't be going out for a couple of weeks anyway um so I'll, I'll update you before this gets posted so yeah guys so i know it's been a while but um well you don't know it's been a while but it has um basically i got my implant as you know um and i just it's been about a couple weeks since i've had it um and I need to update you so I can end this video. So um, I'm gonna actually show you. So um, this is it, hold on. So this is where it is. You can kind of see it. Um, let me just bring this closer. So that's it. You can kind of see the bruising still. And there's always gonna be that scar, this bit she said will always be there, but I haven't had any problems with it. The only thing I have noticed is I haven't had my period, um, which is completely normal. Some people bleed a lot, some people bleed a little bit, some people don't get their period at all. Um, I'm about almost two weeks late for mine, um, so I don't know if I'm going to get it, but I could and I could not, like I don't really know, but I haven't yet, so that's that. But um, I mean, I'm not too bothered if I don't have my period because they're annoying um but i um, don't take my experience of not having a period as what it would be if you got it because that is obviously not the case because it's different for every single person that gets it um that being said i would definitely recommend it um because birth control is not the easiest thing to remember to take a lot of the time i fully understand that um but if you didn't want something in your arm, then maybe don't go for it. But it doesn't seem to bother me at all. I don't even know it's there at all. It took a while for it to hit the um, scar bit where it was implanted to heal. Um, there is still a bit of bruising. I think that's bruising anyway. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so this is my experience with the implant. I highly recommend it. It worked well. It's working well for me so far. So yeah, so if you like this video and you want to see more from me, then please like and subscribe and all my socials are linked down below and I'll see you again next time. Bye!